I'm here with another Commodore 64 game and this game is called Maze and we are going to look at the listing and you can see that it has the movement left right up and down so it uses Z X and P L for down and up and it's a nice little maze game what you do you just like I don't know if any of you remember those little pocket maze games where you have to move the ball bearing to the hole or whatever but anyway we're going to run it and see how it operates and you choose what level so we're going to choose level one just to start off with right now it's going to draw the maze Guess each level is different type of maze is drawn so we'll go through all the levels and see which one you like best and which one we don't like best but yeah so right now it's gonna travel all the way to the top and fix the yellow and then it's gonna punch holes everywhere Okay guys, so, so is it L, use L to go down, go across, so I guess we're trying to find this turtle right here, so, I guess it records how long you find it, so this one's a little, Easy. Hey. So right now we're gonna have to find out how to get across that bridge. You see. Hey. So you start off to level one again. Because we, we eat some of the wall. For some reason, I think I, the wall is drawn wrong. But I will look at the code again, because if you can see, this is supposed to be the border. And you've got the border that swiped all the way in the middle. So, Oh well, I guess we get three lives. I think we get three lives. So let's end the program right here. And let's look at the the program and see what's going on here. So input level one to four. So, 5 minus A, so A, A being 1, 2, 4, but we'll print, the, that's being printed, E border, whatever the pound sign hash mark. Hmm. 
simply some more. So you got levels, time, the value of the time is less than or equal than 2000. So your level will be minus one. So depending on your level, you lose one life every time. So we need to find the code that gives us the life in the first place. So we can add more life to the game. That makes sense. So Let's list it again and break off. So LV is your life. And that's what we used to call it back in the days. Except for writing lives, it would be an LV for life, which is three. So let's change that line right here. Just line 250. We change the 3 to a 5. Change again. Let's just list it. List 1. 1000. Change this life to five. Okay, so the life is changed to five. Right here on the list. One thousand. So we change the code to give us more life so that we don't die real quickly, so. Let's run the game again. Let's try level two this time. Score and score. So let's play the game. High score of 36. So I'm assuming there's a timing level to get this why we keep losing our lives all the time. So I guess it's 16, 16 seconds to get the asterisk. So let's list the game again and see what makes that 16 seconds. Um, Very difficult to find everything on the screen, but once, as soon as I get my printer going, I will get a hard copy of all the codes and I'll show you how I made changes to the code.
let's change the value of 50 to 150 Change the value to 150. So we're going to run it and see if we will last a lot longer through level one. Okay, so we're going to count down and see if it still be 16 or more. Okay, so it's a lot more seconds, so it'd be 20 seconds. So if it's 50, so each second 20 seconds, so so 50 is 16 seconds. Well, let's do let's look at the calculation again. Let's for 50 will be 45 seconds. So let's make it 600. Because you need at least a minute to clear it to actually, you know, when you're looking for where. You're looking for where the actual asterisk to delete and move on to the next page so let's run this do one sec okay go to grow the maze again Soon finished, just being a little patient there. Okay. Okay, now it starts. So, I'm going to play the game as it's supposed to be played. I've got a minute to clear this. So the maximum is 20 seconds. If you're taking too long to get there. So the maximum is 20 seconds, so. I really need to
do a printout of this and examine the clock timing and plus printing the borders here because it doesn't do a good square so yeah so at least we got more lives than starting off with three so let's see the fourth level So that's Maze actually guys for the Commodore 64, it's a nice little program and I wish I kept the original programmer's name so that I'd give him a shout out if anybody will know him but hopefully I'll find the magazine that I typed it in for him. So yeah, so that's the Commodore 64 Maze had on my cassette so I'll see you guys in the next game I got so take care guys please subscribe and like the video and I'll see you all next time thank you